As the concrete now includes the design of one-way slabs, but how do you actually use the software to design a real example? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to complete the design of a one-way slab example in As Deep Concrete, showing the full procedure step by step from the data input to the interpretation of the results. Let's get started. This is a continuous one-way slab covering three spans, eight feet, 10 feet, and nine feet. The one-way slab is subject to the dead load of 30 PSF in addition to the cell weight and a light load of 75 PSF. When you open as deep concrete, you see this template. This is the project manager. It shows the modules included in the package, concrete column, concrete beam, concrete or masonry bearing walls, and now one-way slabs. To create a calculation, just click on this button, assign a name, example, and the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on the node. And this is a template of a one-way slab design in as deep concrete. The first step is to enter the information given in the statement of the problem. So we know that the slab is continuous over three spans. So we need to model four supports. The first span is eight feet. Second span, 10 feet and the third span is 9 feet. We can start with a thickness, say, of 5 inches. We can change it later when we have more information on the design. Let's go to the materials tab. We're going to use a concrete of 4 KSI, which is typical for uh, buildings. We go to the loads tab. According to the statement of the problem, we have a dead load of 30 PSF in addition to the uh, cell weight, so this uh, checkbox is marked, and a live load of 75 PSF. And that load is going to be over the whole span, so we click on this checkbox. Graphically, we can see the slab here. So we can model the load on the first span only. To simplify the input, as the concrete has this button, which copy load to all spans, just click on that. So the load was copied to the other two spans. We go to the reinforcement tab. Here we can specify the rebars. Typically the reinforcement in a one-way slab consists of a continuous uh, set of rebars at the bottom and then isolated rebars at the top over the supports. In as deep concrete we can specify the bar size and the bar spacing for top rebars and bottom rebars as well. Graphically, we go to the Graph Construction tab. So whatever we change in this table will be reflected also in the slab elevation immediately. If we go to the Diagrams tab, as the concrete generates the shear and moment diagram for the one-way slab. In addition, if we click on this checkbox, the program shows the moment capacity and the shear capacity here. Mm -hmm. So one option to design this slab is specifying the rebar sizes and spacing and check that the capacity is enough for the applied loads. For example, if we select this combination, which is the controlling, that includes dead and live, we can see that in this case, the capacity is plenty for these loads. If we go to the at a glance tab, here we can see a summary of the results. For example, all these bending ratios are passing, the shear ratios are passing, all these reinforcement ratios are passing with the exception of this maximum spacing of the rebars is over by, by 1%. As the concrete has a feature, which is the design manager, if we click on this button, here we can specify the rebar that we want to use. For example, if we want to use number fours for everything, we use number four here and number four there. We, see, we click on the design button and then the program designs the rebars for you. Basically, the program selected the spacing in all spans so that all the ratios are passing now, as you can see here. If necessary, you can come to this table and modify whatever you want and the change will be reflected immediately in the diagrams. In this case, number four rebars at 11.8 .8 in both directions produce these diagrams. All these ratios are passing now. The deflection ratios are also very small. So 
So the original assumption of five inches for the thickness is correct. If we go to the condensed tag, we can see a summary of the results, the support reactions, here are the bending moments, the bending strength, here the shear strength, and the calculation of the deflections. If we go to the detailed tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations, uh, step by step, also with references to the ACI code, exposed formulas, for granular checking. If we go to the construction tab, this is the final design showing the continuous rebars at the bottom, then some rebars at the top, hooked at the ends. The transverse reinforcement for uh, shrinkage and temperature, also number four at 11.8. So all the details are shown in this uh, slab elevation. As you can see, it's very easy to design a one-way slab in as deep concrete we can design a real example of a three-span, one-way slab in minutes. If you are interested in the software, please visit the website asipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.